What am I gonna do today? I'm kinda bored. I don't have anything to sharpen. Shipping's ready. Maybe I should do something. Maybe I should do something fun. I mean, if I'm not getting paid, I may as well be having some fun. Hmm. Our kitchen knives just aren't sharp enough. And I say our kitchen knives, I mean our silverware. Maybe I should, that's something I should do. I'm gonna sharpen our silverware. guys so i know it was kind of a goofy intro and everything but the fact is there have been all honesty a lot of you guys that have asked me to do this so i'm getting everything set up we are going to do this today because <clears throat> my knee hurts i don't have everything i haven't been paid for everything that needs to ship out yet so i'm only making one trip post office this week so i thought today would be the day that we do two things you guys are going to see me without a beard no, I'm not shaving. I have an old picture of me without a beard. And you're gonna get to see me sharpen a butter knife. So let's see how this winds up ending up. So guys, I am, I've got everything set up. I am gonna start, I'm trying to figure out how I wanna film it. So I think we're gonna do some, basically most of it like this. And then I'll, I'm not gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of film as much of it as I can. And then I'm gonna speed up the footage and, and see how much of it, there's gonna be gaps. There's gonna be gaps because it's, this is gonna take a while. So we're not sure of the hardness of the steel. We're not sure of anything involved with this whole process. So let's go ahead and we'll crank this down a little bit. Now it's up. Crank you down just ever so slightly so I can see how I wanna film this and the angle I wanna film it at and how I wanna do this. So I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna try and stay in frame. I'm not gonna use my watch today. I've noticed that when I do my watch, I use it to control it as a remote. I spend more time looking at my watch than I do paying attention to what's going on in the video. This is this was this video is gonna be just for fun uh, because I am gonna to have to doll this back up when I'm done because my wife will shit if her kitchen knives are. And I, I think I'm gonna just cut some some minor serrations into it. So herein lies the rub. We don't know what steel this is, except that it's stainless china, 199. I don't know what that means. So we're going to start by trying to remove some of, we're gonna see how hard it's gonna to be to get these little serrations off. As you can see, every like most butter knives. So that's what we'll start with. And this isn't gonna, we're not gonna take this up to like 10,000 grit, I don't think. I don't think this will support it. God, what a horrible sound. So basically, we are going to sharpen this all by hand. So. Sorry, I stopped the camera. So what I'm doing right now. I'm setting this, I'm 
trying to set the edge, but I'm also trying to remove these little serrations. I don't think this is really gonna be that hard to do. What I'm afraid is that it's not gonna wanna hold that edge. So we're getting the reprofile, and basically I'm grinding the edge on it. And I have a really sneaking suspicion this is gonna be one of those ones where I have to really watch the apex because it's gonna roll back and forth and back and forth because it feels really soft. But I've already formed a burr. I've got most of the serrations off, but I do know the stones you saw me throw in the bowl are not the stones I'm going to use. Because, well one, those are my good stones. Two, I'm pretty sure they're gonna load up real easy. So we're gonna toss those in and we'll get some of these aluminum oxides out or six, and I think we'll go, maybe we'll just go to a thousand on this. I'm thinking that's a good, I think that's a good grip for this kind of steel, which is cheap. So, let's get back to it. Yes, I know I complained about my knee, and I am standing, but it's gonna be harder to get all of this in film. Well, you know, I could always crank you down and then take a seat. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. So all I'm doing now is I'm trying to remove the material I don't want, which is the serrated area. Uh, I'll be, guys. I think we've got most of them serrations gone. Watch this be the knife that I cut the shit out of myself with. What do you guys think? What did you cut yourself with? Ah, I was sharpening a butter knife. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, some of these softer steels, way harder to sharpen. I, I've said it in a video before, and I call it chasing chasing the apex. Uh, I, had a, I had a friend that, that follows racing say, hey, I think there was a movie called Chasing the Apex. I was like, really? Like I said, this is just 100% for fun. Yeah, this is a very soft material, very soft steel. Um, at least it's not plated. Uh, we had, I, I went back and I looked at some of the other silverware and some of the other silverware that felt really soft. I think it's just nickel plated hot metal underneath. This is stainless all the way through. So I think I've set. It's the edge, the bevel is set. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go real light on some of these other stones. And if this is gonna go real fast like this, I might just keep you guys with me. So let's see how this can see how sharp we can actually get this butter knife. It's the problem I'm gonna have, like I said, is I don't know what the temper is. I don't know what actual steel it is. And I'm still in the course of basically setting this edge. There's still some minor inconsistencies. There's a couple small pieces of the serrations left. This is fairly coarse stone. This is that, uh, I think it's a 80 grit. It's not, it's a boron carbide, boron carbide. Um, and I'm, I'm just using it because I don't want to, I don't want to load my diamond stones. I, I think I'm going to wind up sending these stones back to David. I'm, I like, I would much prefer using my, if I was gonna do something on softer seals, I think I'm just gonna use my aluminum oxides. I don't like the way this cuts. I don't like the way it feels. I have a spot that I've gotta go over a bunch of times to get that, that serration. It was cut a little deeper on this. But like I was saying, I, d I don't like, 100% like the way this stone cuts, the way it feels. I don't like the feedback I get from it. And so, but like I said, guys, this is just a fun video. I've got. Like nothing really I can work on at the moment until uh, I get belts. I could go up and grind, but I don't have any belts to grind with. 
So I figured, you guys have asked me to do this lots of times. So we're gonna do this. I think I'm just gonna let it record. We're just gonna do a one cut. The only reason I would stop is I have a customer coming and I may have to stop for that. So. On top of that, this is a shameless plug for my sharpening service. So I haven't, I didn't, like I said, I didn't modify this knife anyway. I didn't change and get a different steel. I didn't make one out of a different steel to specifically for this purpose. So let's see, that's kind of what I was afraid of. The, 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 the edge is just kind of peeling away. So we're gonna have to be real, real cautious with with how I how I set this edge. It's probably gonna be pretty steep, probably pretty blunt. It's probably not gonna be something I would I would lather up and shave with. But we'll see if I can get it that sharp. We may do that. But I doubt it. There's a couple of these little serrations that just aren't gonna come out. So we'll just have to be forgiving of that. When we do the cut test, and I'll just have to remember not to get into that spot, but I wanna try and do this in one what time, is it? He said he'd be here about 9.15. Let me pause you guys, I'll be right back. Well, I got sat down because my knee started to hurt. I was talking with the customer, he just brought me a couple straight razors to do. So I wanted to show you real quick. Let's, we'll turn it around. I'll show you. So I didn't do anything while we weren't talking, but let me get this turned around and I'll show you where we're at so far. So guys, as you can see, I've set the bevel, but like I said, there's a couple spots where I'm not going to get the serrations all the way out, but I've set the bevel on both sides. So we'll go from here and we'll work our way up. It is getting sharp. It is no joke getting sharp. It's probably the sharpest uh, butter knife I've ever felt. So Matt gave me this tripod. This thing's great. It lets me shoot at so many more um, let's see, I can crank you down a little bit because I just realized I want to get all of this in frame. It, it allows me so many more angles. I can shoot way up high. It's literally almost as tall as I am. So we'll go back. We'll keep, we'll keep refining this just a little bit. I am noticing I can't use any pressure on this. So I don't know how fine of an edge we're going to take this. I don't think we'll take it above, I want to say maybe 2,000. We might take it up to 2,000, 2,200 ish. So, like I said, this is I'm I'm just getting back to it. The customer stopped by, dropped off these razors. You saw them down there. So I have done nothing else while you guys were gone. Yeah, this is going to be really hard to. Whew. It's just. Well, maybe we just move up. Maybe we move up in grit and grit and stop running chances on ruining that edge. So let's. Go ahead and wipe this all off. I don't want any grit contamination. It's just a butter knife. But, so, ah, oh yeah, that's better. These aluminum oxides are so much better for the softer steels because they, they do a good job on the harder steels as well, but they, they give you so much feedback. That's one of the reasons I like them. You get a feel for where you're at on the stone. You can feel it grab, it bites a little bit. Um, it's got some give to it that lets you, you can kind of, you just can feel exactly what the stone is doing. And as much as I like those matrix stones, I don't get, I'm not saying I don't get feedback. I'm saying it's, the feedback is different because these are, have got so much more I don't know how to describe it. They just, they give you a different amount of feedback. And uh, I love those matrix stones. I just wish I got the same feedback on those that I get from these. But the diamond matrix stones last so much longer than my 
aluminum oxide stones. The aluminum oxides have a tendency to start to break down real quick. They'll, work, they'll be great for a long time and then all of a sudden they just kind of, they start breaking down and, and, and then they get thin real quick. But they definitely are easier to dress. Let's get a little bit of moisture in here. These stones are really dry. I haven't had them out for a while. Uh, So I checked uh, while, while I was on pause, the guy came, I checked my PayPal and I still have one, I'm not making a shipping run today. I, I sent him an email. If it comes up on Thursday-ish, Friday-ish, and I haven't heard anything back, then yeah, I'll just ship out what I've got. His stuff can go out next week. But Hi guys. And like I said, this this is just, I wanted to have some fun. But we're gonna switch from 400 to 600. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a break in here because I'm gonna show you guys what I look like without a beard. It's an old picture, but I, I'll show you what I look like without a beard. All right. Yeah, right? It's not good. I look like the fucking Lorax. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you already saw it. But I figured not all of you guys do. So, all right, we are at 600 grit. So, I actually really, so Dwayne Smotherman sent me two 600 grit stones here a few months back. And the other day, I did something you guys know, I've, I've, I've put it out a lot of times that there's a cardinal rule to working with water stones is that you keep them completely separate from anything that has any oil. Well, I had the stone out and I was doing some shit and I was getting, um, I, I was taking adhesive off the blade of a knife because I didn't, I don't want adhesive stuck to my stones. It's hard to get out and I sprayed the blade down with WD-40 and did not see that my other 600 grit stone, so this is a brand new 600 grit stone, I just pulled it out of, out of its wrapper. Um, I did not see that my 600 grit stone was still sitting there and I sprayed WD-40 all over it and I thought, yeah, you can try it. And I wet it earlier uh, in the week just to see how, I was like, eh, maybe it'll evaporate off and did a, a quick test and so that water doesn't stick to it in places because now it's soaked in big spots. And then when you hit those spots, it just, that part of it just comes by. I threw it away. I, I, I wish I kept it to show you, but yeah, don't, don't get oil on your water stones. You get water on your oil stones, not oil on your water stones. it's sharp <laughs> that's a sharp as butter knife well let's go to a thousand let's see what happens with a thousand i thought i was gonna have to like speed some of this up i don't think i'm gonna have to it's just gonna be a little bit longer video than usual i think that's all it's gonna be just slightly longer than than my usual videos so it is soft guys i'm not gonna lie it's soft it's 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 fighting me because it doesn't want to stay sharp I'm still forming a pretty serious burr, even at a thousand grit. And that, that's kind of, that's out of character for most of the steels I work with. But, okay. Whew. All right, let's find that stone. There's my, go ahead and use this one. So I'm gonna take it to 2200 grit, 2300 I should say, sorry. Yeah, these diamond stones, I'm glad I didn't use the diamond stones up till here because they really, it would have really loaded those. I can tell right now. 
But this thousand grit diamond matrix stones do a better job than I mean, like the thousand grit for the Edge Pro is not a garbage stone. It's not. It's a good finish. The finish you get from this is better. And so I will come off of the aluminum oxide Edge Pro stone, the thousand grit, and go right to the thousand grit matrix stone because you get a better finish it's it's a more it's a smoother finish it's a it's a more polished finish um so and it does it does a really good job it cuts really well wow can't believe we did this so there's that we're gonna finish it on this last stone we'll give it a quick drop and we'll paper test it. Paper cut test it. <laughs> guys, I wish I'd done this sooner. I wish I'd listened to you guys and done this sooner. I'm sorry. I'm sorry it took me three years to finally get around to doing this as a demonstration of what I can do here at Crazy Sharp, but... I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling too many inconsistencies and problems with this. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. You guys ready for this? So we'll strop it. We'll give it the uh, chromium oxide strop because it is a much softer steel. So we load this. As soon as I figure out where I put my, there it is. Ah, I screwed up. I left it out. I got to wipe it on. So we leave stuff out. Road grit and things like that can get in your stropping compound. That's why I keep my balsa wood strops in a drawer and this in a bowl, but I left it out. So if you do happen to leave it out, the area you're gonna use to apply, the spot you're gonna apply it from, wipe it off on something real hard. Like, I mean, like not like hard, like a table or anything, but wipe it on something with a lot of pressure and make sure you've gotten all that stuff that may have embedded into your uh, buffing, your, your stropping compound. Now mine, I don't think it, I really have to worry about it as much because I don't use like the the soft strop compound. This is buffing compound. So it was a one pound block that could use on a buffing wheel significantly harder. So let's do this, guys. It's I'm I'm honestly nervous. A crazy sharp. Oh, it's sharp. Guys, I could shave with this. So, my wife just woke up, so now she is going to see what I did. But I'll fix it. I'll take it back to what it was. <laughs> it's a fucking butter knife, guys. So. It is. <laughs> it is hair popping sharp, guys. So, like I said, a little, <laughs> little bit longer video. A lot of fun to make. Guys, I love you all. If you want, if you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down. But please just tell me why. Um, and then if. If you guys want to donate to the channel, I have my Patreon. If you guys want to donate to my daughter's ice skating, I put a link down in the GoFundMe down below. I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate the support. I am going to do a video just for the people that have supported the ice skating. And it's just going to be a, a thank you video to everybody that did it. Um, and then I, I don't know what the next video is. We'll, we'll come, maybe we'll come up with something fun to do when I have a day like today where there's minimal stuff going on. I have to water my, I have to wet my stones for this and I'm waiting on a package. And, and another another customer to pick his stuff up. I mean, this is stuff. This I do have stuff now. He showed up, so now I have some work I can do today. Uh, that's that's more than just some touch up stuff. So, yeah, guys. Mirror edge on a kitchen knife. You guys, I love y'all. Take it easy. 
have fun, and I'll see you next time.